All right, can we go back and save? I don't think we can. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Hopefully there's a little save point just through the door. Gyro's Laboratory. Somebody was on there. This is where he made his clones. July 16, 1949. 1949. 949. Subject X is resisting more effectively than expected. Her power is visibly diminished, and the energy thus removed is now stored within the weapon. I will loosen my grasp on her in order to question her. End recording. Oh, she got out. She fucking got out. All right. So that's what the weapon is. It's all energy that is stolen from clones. Pure energy. From the Magi lot. Taken from whoever Subject X is. We're either Professor or Subject X. We haven't found Professor Gyro. I think that's me still. But he sure didn't seem very nice. The reason I think it's me... I thought it was me as soon as we came in here, but then that computer or that thing in a in the glass, that Mew, Mewtwo, whatever it was, was like, hey, Professor. Welcome back, Professor. Why would he do such a thing? I don't know. But maybe, just maybe he had his reasons. Maybe he wanted to protect something or someone, right? Protect someone? I don't know if that really justifies such a risk. When you love someone, you do all you can to protect them, you silly fool. And you, Dave? Who would you protect? Well, I would protect you, Dave. Dave! He's protected me ever since we met from all kinds of things. Well, I would protect you right back, Dave. So, I'd like to be able to return the favour. But for that to happen, he'd have to be in danger. Best not wish for something like that. Hey! That's not what I said, fucker! But I guess it's kind of true. With all things travelling back and forth in time, I'm starting to mix up cause and effect. The world has so much, uh, was so much simpler before. Everything had a beginning and an end. You couldn't change what had happened. You could only regret things. Oh wow, don't get all deep on me now. Come on, Dave. I wonder what will happen when we finally destroy this weapon. What will become of the future you visited? Why are we going to destroy it? Do you... You know what happens in the future. And if you're thinking about destroying it now, then it's clearly your fault the future happened. All the people who lived there. I'm especially worried about Dave. Well, I, I'm glad. I'm glad that you're worried about me, Dave. He's still there, stuck in time. Oh, you're on about the other Dave. <laughs> See, this is where it gets confusing. Now she's worried about Big Dave, but I thought she was talking about me the whole time. Find out that she's got a friggin' flapping vagina for Dave, Big Dave. He's a, he's only called Big Dave because he's a muscly guy, all right? Not because he's Big Dave in that department. And that department is like a fucking what's it. Just as cheesy as well. He's still there, stuck in time. What will happen to him? Dave, Prince of Demonia? I still struggle to believe you actually met him. Do you realise that thousands of pages were written attempting to explain his disappearance? I would have loved to have met him. No, you wouldn't. He's, he's an idiot. Full on idiot. Now, how do we destroy this thing? There has to be a way. Don't do it. Everybody freeze. Oh no, it's these fuckers. Where do they come from, splats? From the side hatch. The men in grey will got nowhere to run. If you thought you got rid of us, think again, because we are the Imperial Special Forces. Give it up. You're surrounded. Oh, we, we really are this team, though. And this team, you actually are. I told you. You'll have to beat us to get away. Don't give them any ideas. Personally, I don't want to face them one bit. They look pretty darn strong. They're a bunch of kids. 
Give it up without resisting, please, if you would. What do we do? Want to give them a beating? Dave, you're so aggressive. No, we're just going to bow down. Dave, what the hell are you doing? Are you okay? Uh. Uh, my head. My neck. My back. My crack. My sack. It all hurts bad. Dave! Uh oh, what did we do? Uh oh! I remember! That weapon! I have to... Don't push the button! Dave, no! Don't! Listen to Dave, Dave! He's on our knees! Told you, we're Professor. Weapon 001 activated. Annihilation imminent. Please evacuate immediately. Oh wow, the men in grey are fast. Dave, what the hell did you do? Why did you do that? Everything will be destroyed because of you. Forgive me, Dave. This voice in my head. Who are you? It's all over. Why did you do that, Dave? I'm going to call you David because I'm angry with you. David! The end. Oh my god, I was going to, I was going to lose it if that was the end for real. Oh, you trolly bitch game. You see me trolling. You dirty game. It's just the beginning. Oh shit, I hope you're trolling with that. I don't want it just to be the beginning. Dual personality. Mum? Is that you? There, there now, dear. Just relax. You've been asleep for almost nine hours now. I had a horrible nightmare, Mum. I dreamt I went back in time. It was fucking terrible. Well, you're safe and sound now, dear. Back in good old 1049. 10.9? Wait! Hey! Uh oh. So it was us. Dave's gone bad. Who the fuck are you? You're not my mum. Nope. Oh! Who was it? Um. Plum killed herself. Cherry. Is it Cherry? Or is it Plum? A name? It's been a while since I needed it. You can call me. Oh, please let me do it! Yes! Dave. Dave? I have a feeling we've met before. I was just a young girl back then. Now look at me. Look how, look how long my hair is. And there's the famous Dave. Reunited again after all this time. Wait, you know Dave? Then... Maybe you can help him. Help him? I already have. When we first met you... Uh, when we first met, you helped me escape from the Imperial Guards. Oh shit, that was you? I was right at the start of the bastard game. Me too, Dave. Hey, Ragey Razor. Splat. What's wrong, Splat? It's got to be Dave, right? I mean, at this point of the game, what could we possibly call him? Oh shit, I aided you. In kind by saving you from the weapons explosion. Oh, thanks very much. That was nice of you. The weapon? It's horror bubbles. The greatest disaster did actually happen. We were supposed to prevent it. But Dave, Dave. Not everyone can escape their destiny. Dave? How do you know her? 
We can't call you New Dave anymore. We'll call you Library Dave. And we'll call the other Green Dave, Thick Dave. And we'll call Purple Dave, New Dave. Dave, 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 Dave. Da 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 Dave, da Dave. Dave, 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 Dave. Dave, Dave, Dave. Sang in the style of Big Ben's chimes. I don't know how they go. Dave. Dave. <laughs> bong. What, the bongs? Um, heading off now, reaps and chat. Got to get my shit together for work. Oh, sorry, dude. Enjoy work, though. Thanks for, thanks for lurky pantsing. I appreciate it, mushy mushy. So how does Library Dave know new Dave? She's just woke up. Unless she's referring to Dave that's on the ground. Which she could be because she's looking down at his little bare bottom. Where the fuck are we? The weapon. It exploded and then... And then Dave happened. You're okay. What a relief. The weapon blew up. And then Dave saved us. I think she brought us to the future. The future? Hold on a sec. Oh shit, you know what? You're actually pretty hot, librarian. You got a little freaking belly top going on. You got Lara Croft. Your thick thighs as well. Whew. I might just run away with Dave. I'm back with food. Welcome back. We've got a new Dave. Since we're... Uh, since we're traveling through time, I'd rather be at the time of the match, uh, if I could be so bold. Dave, is that your name? You seem unique, neither human nor demon. My father was a demon, my mother a human. Oh, do you think she's subject to X? Not double thick. Yeah, it's double thick, except she's got hot pants on. The other one's got, like, just regular shorts. Well, I think so anyway. My memories are all scatterbrained. Amazing! Can I write it down? I don't think there's ever been a case like yours before, Dave. Nope, definitely not. You truly are unique. Let me examine you. Open your legs. I don't think that's a good idea. Dave, will you stop touching vegetation? Please. There's a time and a place. Dave saved us from the explosion. You should really be thanking her. Not groping her. Uh, sorry. I'm fascinated by mysteries and anything out of the ordinary. Hey, speaking of mysteries. Suddenly, Dave, he climbed up onto one of his knees. And he looked at the demon coochie. And he says... What's your name? Dave! Did a Dave! Davey, okay? No, Dave. I will not let you Dave your Dave into my Dave. Exactly, right? Got your wits back? Uh. About what happened in the weapon room? We don't need to discuss that. Yes, we do! Dave is possessed by a, another Dave in his brain, obviously. Dave never wanted it to happen, and it's not his fault. Kind of is. We just have to use another Magalith to go back to before that actually happened and stop the weapon from exploding. Great idea, Dave. However, that might create a space-time paradox. I'm not sure what will happen then. Well, it's our only shot, Dave. No, it's not, sadly. That's not possible. How do you know, Dave? Magaliths were designed specifically to prevent that sort of thing. If you return now to what is your present, you will always arrive after the weapon is triggered. Oh, that sucks. Hello, Dave. Hey. Tony, 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 Tony. Hey. If we get to name anything else. It's always going to be Dave in this game, but what should be the next game that we name things? Hmm. Weapon... The weapon's been triggered. Okay. No! Shaking my balls in my hair, look. That can't be. My village. My family. 
May I ask how you know all of this? Only the ancient magi knew how the megaliths operated. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, yeah, about that. I, I, I don't actually know. I have memories, and sometimes I see things that are yet to come. For the megaliths, I know it won't work. How fascinating. Can I see your crutch again? Is it possible that your heritage bestowed upon you with the abilities no one has ever seen? I don't know, maybe. That's for the weapon, though. There's another way. Oh, shit. Really? Oh, you're fucking awesome, Dave. It won't be that easy, though. But with the mag, the magi key, it can indeed be accomplished. Okie dokie. Final Fantasy? Oh, Final Fantasy takes a lot of time though, right? What was the one that I was going to play? I was going to play Yeez. Yeez! Uh, the Magi Key? One of the three legendary Magi artifacts? Wait, you know where it is? Bullshit! Well, it's, it's kind of complicated. The Magi created the key as a kind of safety. It was supposed to to remove something from the fabric of time, but it was far too dangerous. So they broke it and gave each fragment to a leader of the team. For a long time, I have been looking for these fragments. I think I know where they are, but I will need your help to gather them. Okie dokie. So that's it. I never thought that time itself could be changed. Well, not before meeting Dave and Dave. So, <laughs> so if we use the magi key to remove the weapon from time, I will have never existed and it will never have been activated. Or it would, it would never have existed. You probably won't exist though, because that weapon's probably a long ass fucking time old, right? How's it going? It's going well. Dave set off a weapon, but new Dave came and saved us. Green Dave forgave red haired Dave. Library Dave is hot in 3D. Fact. Um, and she just wants to examine new Dave inside and out. That's about the gist of what's happening so far. In this scene, anyway. Exactly! See? She agrees. Let's go find the damn keys. Wipe out that he- uh, Heinous? Weapon? Once again. Heinous. He- Heinous. Let's do it. I do hope consequences aren't worse. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What's going to have happened up in here? You're gonna make me lose my mind up in here, up in here. Can you take me away from the smog? Do you mind? Dave, I have memories of you as well. I think we share something. Wait, am I? Am I your dad? I think I might be your dad. Oh, I almost forgot. Take this, it's fucking important, alright? You got a control terminal. A system that looks super technologically advanced, I think that's it. This item allows you to journey through the ages. With it, you can activate the megaliths. Use it to find all of the fragments. I will open a pathway for you. Oh, that's badass! Thanks. Could I not have opened it myself to figure out how it worked though? Dave? Yes, Dave. You'd like to know about the pieces of the magi key, right? Yeah, I would. Information about which fragment? Um, I thought there was only three fragments. The fragment of fire. Have you met the pirates before? Yes, their hideout can be found in your present near a volcano. They possess the fragments of fire. Information about which fragment? The eyes fragment. When the empire ruled the land, before the frozen continent began to melt, they lived fear, uh, there lived fierce vikings. They guard the fragment of ice. Information about which other fragment? Nature, of course. Far to the southwest lies the island. On this island is a timeless forest. Oh, okay, yep, yep. And deep within that forest, you'll find the fragment of nature. Information about another one. Earth. Demons locked a fragment away in their most sacred temple. But its location was lost when Demonia was destroyed in the Great War. Information. 
There is said to be a special megalith in a windy valley. It's supposed to grant access to, frag to the fragment of time. The one most shrouded in mystery. And none. We're done. Right, did you guys get all of that? Because to locate the fragment, you'll have to travel through time. Use the controller I gave you on a megalith. I wish I could join you, Dave, but I must return to me if you seek to know more about the Fragmentios. Well, I'm never coming back. Beat me up, Scotty! Are you kidding? <laughs> so that's always going to be there so we can, we can go figure it out. Right, so she said about our, our present, how does she mean our present as in the first section that we were in? Because I don't think we were really from there anyway. I've already forgot which one we're going for. Oh, the temple. Is there a megalith over here? So that's the sacred temple, right? But where's the megalith? Oh, the megalith's at the camp. Which was... Wait, with the fox bluff. Wait! But how? How do we get there then? Oh, I know how we'll get there. I know how we'll get up there to where that's alive and kicking. Hold on, you old tag. I've got something for you. Look what I've got, Gramps. A fine young man you are. Bibi wants my pee pee. That's what she wants. I would like to wake an ally. A little peach cobbler. I've got some mana, don't worry. Oh, wonderful. You dug up some more mana. Who will get the awakening? Oh man, this is impossible to know who it is though. Oh, my plan has been ruined. Well, let's give it to Dave, I guess. Dave's power has reached level 2. Focus longer for a more powerful attack. I didn't want that, Dave. She's a fucking waste of space. Useless, Dave. Yeah, it was, like, it was a crapshoot. I guess we can only do each one once, maybe. That shit's lucky. Wait, buy a potion? She just called me a sweet gummy bear. for me BB. Right, so well, we're gonna go back to our team, I guess. Where was our our Magalith? Oh no, we're not gonna go back to our team just yet. We're gonna go up here. need to talk to anybody anymore. Hey, let me up there, idiot. Watch yourself climbing the mount. It's perilous, blah, blah, blah. Hey. 
Wait, watch yourself climbing the moon. Alfred's the most perilous. After all, we have little use for the weak disciples. One of the best mongs. Let me in then! Hey, fuckers, let me in! Are you kidding? Oh man, that sucks. I thought we could go up there and get the prototype at least. I guess we've already crashed the prototype at this point though. We've crashed it over in the pyramid. It's quite fascinating. I have to wonder who manufactured such a thing. You think we'll need it later on? Yes, we will. I agree. You got the prototype X01. Probably hasn't flown very far or for very long. It flew fucking miles. Sometimes I wonder where you keep all this stuff. In my flappy anus. Did you not hear the conversation we had before? Right, so no, we've got a boat in our pocket. We need to check all of these areas again. No, nothing. Nothing is here for you, repeat people. You should go find the fucking key that she has so told me for. Hold on a second. Coming through. We're not playing anybody at cards. They can suck a fat one. There's no way. I'm all, I am all good with leaving the cards alone. Yeah, the, there is only Windy Valley left. Gotcha. Wait, so where's the monolith? Oh, it's on the island, that's right, okay. I don't need your boat, I've got my own boat, sucker. Hey! Are you kidding, game? You're a tease. You're a freaking island tease. Yeah, the cards are fun to play offline, I think. They're not they're not so much for a Twitch experience. I wouldn't think so. I wonder if Dave's still here. Heck are you on about? Wait, wait. Oh shit! I'm only theorizing. It's equally possible we will end up in my era. Or that of Miss Dave and Exterminator. But as Miss Dave would say, I feel we have no other choice anyway. We already seen this exactly. 
Off we go, Dave. We won't know till we get there, and I don't... Okay. What the fuck? They've disappeared! How did I fail to leave with them? And what am I to do now? Don't worry, Dave. Come here! Where the music's gone. Dave! I'm glad to see you again. Dick's Terminator? Miss Dave! I thought you'd vanished forever. That must mean the maglith did not serve its purpose. Actually, it did, Dave. It worked just fine. But it's a long story. Where should I start? We got him caught up. I can hardly believe it. My son. A terrorist? And the weapon? But I mustn't worry so. Reno is no longer a child in, in, in this era. In this era, sorry. So he surely must have fled before the explosion. Perhaps I shall see him yet. No, we killed him. We, we killed him, Dave. Did you leave a bit out? Did you not tell Dave that we killed Reno? I too was rather surprised to see them materialise out of nowhere. And when they told me everything, I had trouble believing it as well. Who would believe something claiming to be uh, someone claiming to be from the future? I wasn't truly convinced until after speaking with Dave. Dave, can we trust her? She saved us from the weapon explosion, you idiot, and she told us how to collect the shattered pieces of the magic key. I am well aware of that, Miss Dave, and if she's my, and she has my deepest gratitude. Without her, I would never have seen you two again. But my father always told me that everything comes at a price. Why exactly did she come to your aid? That much I would like to know. In any case, her knowledge about the Magi can't be questioned. The sparse descriptions of the Magi key I studied confirm her explanation. Well, that changes nothing for my son. On the contrary, good Watson. If we wipe the weapon from the timeline, Reno will never have thought to try to activate it. A sizable chunk of history will be rewritten. To be perfectly honest, the very thought of it frightens me. How can we be sure there won't be unintended consequences? Well, I'm not going to sit around and do nothing, bitch face. There's always a risk, no matter what you do in life. And frankly, it can't get much worse than this, right? I agree with Miss Dave. Regardless of what we change, the situation can only improve for me. For us, definitely. Perhaps not for everyone else, though. But then, I suppose it's worth the shot. I really hope we're doing the right thing, Dave. Armpits. Okay, I've only got two armpits. Are you going to nestle in under my nutsack, Big Dave? Quick, let's bring the pieces of the magic key to Dave. Oh, I'm pleased to be helping you once again, Dexterminator. No worries, dude. Dave has joined the team. We've got them all now. We've got them all inside our belly. Right, so we've collected Dave. We still, we still have to become a pirate. So how do we do this? Wait, wait, I didn't get to choose, it just took me somewhere. How the fuck do I know where I am? I don't even know when I am now, though. What's this? Oh, I bet we can become a pirate here. Noobs, ain't you? Better watch it or I swear I'll rage quit this crew. Don't worry about that. Yeah, woo! What's up? 
looks so freaking cool being a pirate! Every day I thank the seas I followed Master Roberts. Eh, sorry, Mr. Roberts. Mr. Roberts is us, right? Because that guy shot himself. But lately he's had a worried vibe about him. Pirate Dave. That's what I want to become. I want to become a pirate. Because then that's the only way I can go fight the other pirate ship in the future. Mr. Roberts, I presume? In the flesh. But you don't look like young souls thirsty for adventure. You look like you're living your own epic tale already. Make the most of it. Life is full of challenges for those who can seek them out. Some adventures can be rather painful. Take a lesson from many... Uh, take a lesson from my many years. The road may be full of peril, but the adventures along the way are worth your misery. Speaking of, would you like to aid me in my next adventure? Damn right! You're going to make me an honorary pirate? Because I will do it, won't we, Tony? T3 and the Pirate Dave crew. Yes. You see, as it turns out, how should I put it? Still all kind of new to me. Here goes. I am in love. Oh, wait, with that bitch that's... These things happen. So who's, who's the lucky girl? Oh, Dave, it's you. She's, she's, she's wonderful. She's amazing. She's strong yet vulnerable. How could a woman like her love? Hey, how could a woman like her love someone like me? Indeed, if you look at the uh, statistics, I am not well versed in love, but perhaps a good start would be to compose a letter. My father never failed to. Uh, my father never failed to send one off before engaging in thorny negotiations. Wait, a letter? Yes, of course, that's splendid. Just a moment, please. Here you are. Wait, why are we getting your love letter? You got a love letter. To the one who boarded my heart and plundered my sleep. Thank you. If she doesn't embrace my love, then it's decided. I shall retire, and you will get my most prized treasures. Don't bother trying to find my stash. The spot so well hidden, I alone know where it is. Oh, we know where it is! Don't we? The old guy that was sitting there, just fucking moaning. Oh, how did they find my treasure, those pesky kids? I can see the treasure right beside him right now, to be fair. Dave's got a lot of purple. Yeah, he has. I will eagerly await her response to my letter. You'll recognize her easily. She is the most stunning, remarkable woman on the continent. Why does this have to be so complicated? I don't fucking know. Why does it? It's such a cute story, though, don't you think? Maybe, Dave. Negotiations seem to be proceeding well. If both parties demonstrate good faith, it should result in a mutually beneficial agreement. Dave, you remind me so much of Drax. Okay, Roberts. Would you like to set sail? Yes, I would. So that's where one of the keys is, up in the volcano area. This island isn't even here yet? Wait. That's how we get to here. What the hell is this? It's the land of fire! Okay, this is pretty badass. I thought we were almost done with the game. Fucking games literally just opened up. 
It feels like we've done more than 10 hours in this. We've done at least... Let's have a look. We've done 19 hours already. What's this? What be you in the water? Is that... So this is the southwest that it was talking about. Uh, this, the southwest forest, is this the part that creature doesn't like? The timeless forest was his least favourite part of the game. So we can just chill out here, right? Oh, hold on a second. the Vikings. Oh, we kind of need it to melt though, don't we? We need it to melt and find a Magalith and then change to another team. Um, it's really interesting the way this game does it. Okay. 19 hours of Dave, yep. Yeah. Yes, indeed. So, I wonder, I wonder, let's go in here. We got to find this love letter, we'll get that done, for sure. Dad! Well, what do you know, we don't get many visitors around here. You're trying to escape the war, right? Yes, a little bit. Give me a second, give me just a second, champs. Right, what we got? You've got nothing to fear here. We're far from the mayhem. Anyway, that's why I decided to stick around. I see. My grandpa. He's the founder of my village. I'd rather not disturb him without good reason. How suddenly is Dave smart? Like she didn't get that from the last time? She was still in denial, I guess, at that point. She was still well and truly in denial. What's everybody up to this evening? Oh my god. Scared the fucking poop right out of me. I thought we could get in there for a nice cheeky attack. Oh, you know what? That's actually pretty useful now. <laughs> you got minimal. Or man manimal. Minimal, not manimal. You got something. Hemorrhoids. I'm playing Attack on Titan. I just had to bleach my eyes? Why? What did you see? What did you see? What has been seen can, cannot be unseen. Scary wee rock, why? And bit me. Bit me. Didn't do any damage. Don't be don't be scared of a rock, okay? Okay. 
Okay, here's your little dirty clearing. I'll teach you a lesson. Teach you some manners, chump. Oh, I forgot about the squirrels. So long ago. Wait, wait. How did I get through here before? Oh, there was the thing to roll. Okay, I guess we don't have to be here anymore. It seems really weird because that's still over there. So there's this group of old women that do the afternoon run every day and today is extremely hot so they were wearing bikini tops. Oh my god! That's all way too much! Thank god I, it wasn't nanny fanny. Thank god it was bikini tops! And not bikini bottoms! I have a granny fanny. You're just, you're opening yourself up there, Tant. You're opening yourself up for whatever pops into this chat. No, no, it was confirmed that an Anna Banana has a puffy fanny. I can't remember where that came from. I think I might have started the rumour. Oh, this is the clearing. Okay. I feel like we've got everything from here. We don't want to disturb Grandad yet. Got to go find this beautiful woman. Oh, she's the fairest on all of the continent. She's incontinent. Oh, wait. Let's go to that doorway. The Grizzly Pass isn't going to scare us. The flaps need paling was better. Oiling. I can oil up your flaps, Tans. WD-48 sounds good. Stops the flaps from creaking. Little spray, little squirt. Good as new. Little bit of elbow grease to create the lady grease. Grease lightning. Hey, can we not? Excuse me. All we need to do is sacrifice a demon there to open that door. We should pull Dave out and kill him. Do, 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 do. I want to go into the Grizzly Pass. That's another name for Tansy's little coochie bear. The Grizzly Pass.
I don't need to worry about the puzzles anymore, do I? No. Wait, that should be it, quote ad. Oh wait, I might have turned my bot off. I think, yeah, I think I turned the bot off, let me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tans. Try, try quote something else. I promise it's not just you. I promise I've not demoted you from being able to put quotes on. Because you've got a grizzly pass. You didn't pass the, uh, the grizzly check. It's like, whoa! I don't even know what to do with that. Mel's proud of a grizzly arse. Mel's not feeling very well today. She's a little bit under the weller. Uh, the weller? Wella, wella, wella. Ooh, tell me more, tell me more. Is Mel really that sick? Tell me more, tell me more. You are such a fucking prick. That's not very nice, is it? Just Why is Evoland 2 a slight case of space time continuum disorder? Because that's the name of the tape, that's the, the name of the game. Oh. Like, that's the full name of the game anyway. Yes? You go to the start of the game, you can see it. Oh. Fuck off. Oh. I'm literally just doing this to see. Anything in Grizzly Pass that I've missed? I don't think there is. No. Steam is wrong, confirmed. Nope, I see it right there in front of me. What do you mean? Evil Land 2. Have you rubbed her butt? Have you sucked her toes? Wait! Oh, are you talking about me making Mel feel better? I just let her moan around in bed. It's the only, it's the only time she gets to moan in bed when she's ill, so I'll let her enjoy it. Because I'm a, I'm a loving boyfriend like that. Can't tell me I'm not a giver. <laughs> Why 
Wait. That's a nice thing. Is it Windy Valley that we need to go to? We got this little Dex prototype. You're gonna enjoy this. You wee sausage monkey. Where are you? Oh man, this is before. Okay, this is way before. Wait, how do we get up there though? Like we need a flying machine to even get up there. Okay. No moaning confirmed. She doesn't moan in bed when you're not there too. Oh yeah, when I'm not there, she moans like a trooper. I can make Mel moan. I just say Mel. Watch this, I bet I can make Mel moan. Mel! You make a cup of tea! She's moaning. She's moaning like fuck right now. She just said, I'm sick! I'm sick! Blech. You can get her to moan without even stopping the stream. Boom! You waste your time bothering me as I have weapons for sale, only fashion the good stuff. Okay, could we could we fashion some good stuff please? You don't got some more stuff. What would you like? I would like I'd like the sword, honestly, but how many is that? Is that four? Oh, we don't have enough. Um Nope. Making me creature, do you get enough ore to make everything? Yeah, she's not feeling well today. I'm just I'm staying well away from her. I don't want what she's got. I had to sit next to her in the cinema. She was that bastard that coughs every two minutes in the cin cinema. Cinema. Yeah, you do. You get you get enough. Okay, so I can go ahead and get the boots. I think these boots were made for walking. And walking's what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna kick you in the plums. Oh, you were trying to sing along? You can't sing along to daddy songs because they never make any sense. Who's a psychopath? Me? Why? Please come back and see me if you have any more stuffs. Oh, well, promise. Right, so we still gotta find this little this little cherry. I'm pretty sure it's the woman in here. That's like, oh I really wanted it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Are you after me? Who are you? Would you happen to know anything about the dreaded pirate Roberts? The Empire is currently tied up with a war against the demons, but sooner or later we'll catch him and pay for his misdeeds. If only we knew what he looked like. Oh, he looks like me soon. Some pirates have set up in the nearby islands. Must be nice being a pirate, sailing the seas, going wherever the wind takes you. Oh, would that I were a few years younger. No, we only go into... Oh, here, is this the woman? I don't want to challenge you. I dreamt that one day my Prince Charming will take me away on a beautiful white steed. Yeah. Who could you... Oh, no, I'm not him. By the look on her face, I don't think Dave is the one. Could it be that? Ooh. You have a letter for me. I do have a letter for you. Oh, my gosh. That's so sweet. Let me read it. Okay. It's not from me, though. The answer is yes. It's not from me. Oh no, I think she's just fallen in love with Dave. God damn it. 
happens all the time. You call somebody with sexy mama and that's it. Instant creep. I've always admired you so, my lovely pirate Roberts. And yet I didn't think you would be so young. With your vibrant hair and glasses on your forehead, you're exactly my type. Uh, fuck. I think there's been a slight misunderstanding. Here, Mr. Roberts, this will prove my love for you. A Tinder profile? Find your one true love. I suppose that'll do the trick. Swipe right, swipe right. Let's go back and see the old pirate. <laughs> I'm going to tell all my girlfriends that Pirate Roberts is a handsome young man with a dazzling head of hair. Yeah, you do that. Because if you do that, then Roberts isn't going to get captured. Would you like to set sail? Yes, please. 